as I said before, I'm 47, but um, three years ago, I had uh, the, the, the first ground, ground shaking, ground breaking um, experience of my life. And that was, I found out that I had inherited uh, my father's uh, problems with kidneys. Um, my dad had kidney disease and was on dialysis for about seven years before he passed away. Um, what I found out is that my family has a prolific history about kidney disease. Um, everyone, all the males on my father's side of the family are at, at, at severe risk of, of contracting that same condition. And so I found out that not only do I have it, but my brothers have it. I found out that my cousins have it. I found out that my uncle had it. And so um, I have a, I found out I have a chronic uh, and congenital kidney disease. And by the time it was diagnosed in me three years ago, um, it was already at stage four. And um, so when I, when I talked to my doctor, she said, look, you know, you're facing serious health complications relating to end stage uh, renal disease. And um, so we need to get you on dialysis right away. And that's where my education began in relationship to um, kidney disease and, and that whole situation. I learned that um, end stage renal patients um, are, are pretty much dependent on dialysis to keep them alive. And um, I learned that most of those patients that go on dialysis, um, they, don't, they don't often do very well. Uh, by the time that they're at end stage renal disease, there's a lot of after effects that have happened inside their body. And so a lot of them don't even become candidates for kidney transplant. Most of them, their lifespan is only about 18 months. So I really consider myself blessed three years in, I'm healthy, I'm happy, I still work. Um, I work more than most people, as a matter of fact, because you know I'm a business owner, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a community activist, I'm a community leader. So um, I spend a lot of time you know, giving my time and energy and effort to young people and organizations and trying to share the wisdom that I've accumulated over my lifetime with, with other people. Um, realizing that, you know, I face the thing that will probably eventually bring me to the grave. I really um, developed a new resolve that I want to uh, impart as much as I can before I depart. So I'm trying to raise up young leaders and mentor young people and do all kinds of fantastic stuff. And so that's how I spend my time and my energy, although I do dialysis about four times a week. And I'm on dialysis more than the average patient. I do dialysis at home, and uh, my wife helps me with my dialysis. We do it together. And that was an amazing occurrence, you know, how that came together. And my doctor came to me, she said, look, she said, I want to be honest with you. I can save your life, but I have to get you on dialysis as soon as possible. And she said, you're going to be healthier, happier, and live longer um, if you do you choose to do dialysis at home so I, I told my doctor you don't have to sell me that sounds like the best way for me to go and when I talked to my wife she said well you know I think I would like to help you with that I'd like for us to do dialysis together so it's been a family uh, uh, experience and it's been a fantastic experience but um, I'm getting to the point now where my body is breaking down um, more and more from you know the long-term effects of of kidney disease. So um, my doctor told me about six months ago, hey, I think you're ready for us to, to really look at transplant. And um, she, she started submitting paperwork and she started submitting the referrals and, you know, boom, boom, boom. Next thing you know, I've been qualified to receive a kidney transplant. I'm really, really excited about that because while dialysis is keeping me alive, uh, a, a transplant will give me my life back. It will give me my time back. Um, remember, I do dialysis four, sometimes five times a week. So you can imagine after working a full day, coming home at six or seven at night and then sitting on a dialysis machine, connected, blood going out of my body, blood coming back in for four hours. And with all the prep time and wrap up time, I don't get done until sometimes 12, one o'clock at night. And then I get up early six o'clock the next morning and, uh, and, and hit it again. So I'm really looking forward to um, getting, getting my time back. And, um, and, and, and also having the ability to move freely and travel and to not be chained to my dialysis machine.